This video outlines the rise and fall of Fast Drag, the hardcore Iron Man I poured over 2,000 hours into. The goal of the hardcore Iron Man was simple, but achieving it was never going to be easy. I wanted the dormant title, a title received for obtaining every single unique from Telos. Even putting it that way, the challenge would be nearly impossible, but I wanted more. I wanted to make the account solo only. This severely limited my options for gear, supplies, and abilities, but still, I was determined to get it done. After months of training and planning and progress, we pick up the story a few short levels away from being able to start Araxor. We need a noxious staff for Telos, and that's the only way to get one. Uh, guys? I just got the farming pet from Vyres off my seat aside. Like, here's the thing. I don't have a combat pet yet, right? I'm currently training attack, defense, strength, prayer, HP, and fire making. Oh! What? That freaking smoke, dude, is bull crap. And just like that, that is the end of the series elite tasks. So we can now buy and equip and use the enhanced Excalibur as our bladed dive offhand and also for the heals. That should be really helpful. More dragon bones, dude. Hey, thank you for the crest in advance. I just getting more dragon bones. Oh man, we're having ourselves an absolute day. What an outing. Goodbye. Back to back dragon bones. This is insane. I have 820 dragon bones in my invent. And we started the hour 15 minutes ago. That's level 91 prayer. One more level till we get soul split. 93 prayer coming in. Honestly, this is going pretty well. I'm hoping to have level 95 in like a day or two, depending on, you know, how much I want to go outside. But yeah, things are looking pretty good. Just selfish. Oh my God. I, I forgot that <laughs> I... That is a no food QBD kill. Alrighty, thank you, Soul Split. I know I probably should have eaten there, but I wanted to see if I could do it with no food. Look at us go. Moving on up in the world. So, with that in mind, I think we could realistically go for a real crossbow at some point. That's actually really good. And there we go. That is the end of the Reaper assignment. Easy 10k Sarah XP, easy 10 Reaper points. That was absolutely clean. That was a great Reaper assignment. And we're gonna get a Royal Piece too. Okay, probably not, but... Ooh! Actually, the... wait. I have 25 kill count. All I need is a Royal Sight. That's level 90 Slayer. Whoo! New, Dark Beast, Edamu, Rush of Blood, Acolyte of Seriu. More Acolyte of Seriu. It didn't even say Lanica. That's kind of unlucky. What a massive level that is. You mean you need Supremes to make Elders, but not Supreme Salves. And Salves are the ones with the recipe. That is a Royal Bolt Stabilizer. That's a dupe, unfortunately. So, uh, our, our dream of completing a Royal Crossbow without a single dupe. Well, she's dead. Oh my god! In 65 kills, we've got ourselves a Royal Crossbow. Well, kind of. We still have to survive the Hot Flames and actually make the thing, which we're gonna go do right now. Did I do too much damage? No, we're good. I did it. And just like that, we got ourselves a real, I, I would put it on, but I don't have the range level, but that's actually really, oh, dude, I almost want to go Rax with it. It's that good, but we're not going to, we're not going to, no, plan doesn't change. Still going to take the Lance to Rax, but that's really, really cool. That is a level 95 prayer done, despite doing lots of Vindicta and some Cleansing Crystals as well, ended up getting the level at Vyres, which means we're pretty much good to go with the prayer skill. That's gonna be what we needed for Rax, and for literally every other piece of PVMing we're gonna be doing on this account from here on out. Now that I've got that done, I think the last thing I need before I go to Araxor is some kind of augmentable body or legs so that I can get some perks. Soon as that's done, I think we're pretty much ready to go to Araxor for the very first time. That is a God Sword Shard 1 from a minion. Um, okay. So we actually almost have... We are God Sword Shard 2 off of a Bando's God Sword in, in one invent. That's... Is that exciting or is that sad? I feel like it's kind of right on the line between the two. Yes, dude! Oh my god! That's a Bando's chest plate! 
I'm trying to like loot really quick though so I can get three kills per anti fire. It's way easier on Aura. That's a dragon kite shield. That is my 100th QBD kill. So I think we should grab the pet here and then just leave it there, right? Leave it at the fresh one hundo. Yeah, we can honestly, we can call that a fresh hundo right there. One last check. Okay, I'm wearing pants. Um, My pants have venom blood on them. Turns out that's committed perk and not venom blood and then I die. My action bar looks like I'm ready to output the DPS rotation of the gods. My quick prayers are turmoil and range. So that's looking good. I've got three restores. Is that enough restore? At worst case, we, we bust out the... I can no pray it. All right, let's go. Okay, friends, it's time for the Zerk rotation of the gods. I attack on the web shield and I insta die. Dude, I'm trucking right now. Look at me go. My client crashes. <laughs> I shouldn't even joke about that. It would be kind of funny though. Like I would, I would, I think I would laugh before I were to cry. Okay, so, so far I've used one Brudos, so I would say that's good, right? Oh my god, I'm an absolute Araxor god! I used two food! Three food! That was sick! And four overloads. Let's go, baby! Well... We've, uh, we've started Rax. That was actually so clean. Like, real talk for a second. That was the cleanest thing of all time. Oh, we did it. It just, it's not, there it is. Level 99 constitution. Rax is actually really good combat XP. We're gonna get 99 death in like a couple days of Rax too. Look at us go. Goodbye, Rax. All right. To celebrate our 99, like peace. I am actually totally good with that. That's actually, that's, is that the best drop that isn't a light? I think it is, yeah. 2.8 mil, two onyxes. Um, I guess I can recharge my Reaper necklace when I need to, and then, yeah, save one for a rainy day. Cool. There we go. Not bad for the first kill of the day. I will take it. Now I have 19 kill counter to Raxor. And a pheromone coming in. Uh, is that good? I think that's good, right? Yeah, I guess I can use it to reset and rage. Like, I don't- my instances are free anyway. But, yeah, I think that's good. Oh well. 7 minutes 28. <laughs> you know, with my luck though, this will be the kill where we get the leg piece. Uh, yep. Told you. Like, every kill I do, it was great. Every kill was so good. You know, we're doing like 420s and like you know, five minutes, and maybe we'll get a sub six in there, like down light path. It's really sick. The one kill in 52 where I screw up light path because I'm an idiot and I get stuck in there for 27 years. And welcome to Spider Leg Bottom Drop. <laughs> All right. That's a really slow kill, but I don't really care. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh my god. In. Um. What? Oh man, we are we are above drop rate now, friends. We are well above the drop rate. Um, 59 kill count. Oh man, you love to see it, dude. Now what do we do, dude? That prayer flicking at the end was so sick. Like, that was actually the cleanest thing of all time. Holy moly, dude. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm really good with that. Yeah, cool. Another spider-like piece. 
Um, that's a duplicate, obviously, so we can't make a make a full leg here. I still need a hilt, but uh, yeah, I will absolutely take it. Goodbye, Rex. Thank you for the rock cave fish. I will be bringing that to Rex later. Yes! go spider leg middle we have completed a full spider leg on the hardcore iron man Woo! there we go i'm so freaking fired up dude that's actually so cool dude a full spider leg on the hardcore iron man now all we need is a hilt that we can stick it to and then we're good omni for drops and goodbye hurricane 3903, new personal record. He's insane. Unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable. Not bad, to be honest. Short-term bad, long-term good. Speaking of good, that is level 99 strength. You love to see it. I can finally get my strength cape and use it as a DPS switch. So we are going to do a whole lot of that. Um, Whenever I next have to bank. Look at Mel. He doesn't do tell us at all. He would be fine doing Telos. He just doesn't... He doesn't feel like learning it. That's a Crystal Saren, dude! Let's go! That's such a good drop! That's so good! Oh no, I didn't even notice! Dude, I don't even know what's going on. I just got the magic pet. Like, at the most random times. Like, not when I'm, like, PVMing or I'm leveling my magic skill. I'm, I'm literally just alking. Um... Okay, that's actually my first combat pet on the account. Somehow, it's Newton at level 92 magic. We're not looking at HP at 16 mil or attack or, you know, any of the 99s. Nope. We are getting ourselves the magic pet, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really make a huge difference, but I mean, yeah, I guess it's pretty cool to have. I'm trying to make myself 10 million coins so that I can buy myself another Morvan's Challenge Enhancer. I was contemplating maybe spending the money on construction instead, but I realize I am a hardcore, and even though I'm pretty comfortable doing racks without the thing, it would be nice to have that extra failsafe just in case of anything crazy, even something like a disconnect. The fact that a sign only puts me on half life points, whereas this thing puts me on full HP, might just be a tiny bit safer and might be just better enough that it could actually save my account. So I am going to spend the money. I'm going to shell it out. I know it's bad to elk bolt tips, but it's going to be fine for now. Don't need to elk too many, and uh, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be good to go, ready to rock. Bro, you're trolling me! I literally clicked. All right, this game sucks, dude. I just spent ten mil on that stupid thing. I just bought it like yesterday. I'm so mad. Homeboy lasted four kills. I literally clicked too. That was a decent rack skill for Brawl Aurora, especially. Let's uh, see what Rex has in store for us. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is that a yeah or no? Is that. I think that's. I mean, it was, there was a 50% chance of getting a web. Um, you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah, no, I'll take it. I'm good with the web. I'm good with the web. We're out here. We've, we've completed a Nox weapon on the hardcore. The thing is, I actually don't want to make it because I don't even have the range level for it. But yeah, no, we've got a Nox bow on the hardcore. That's cool. That's actually, we're out here. So we're on 189 kill count. We have one full weapon. Just need another mid leg and a bot leg. And then, yeah. Cool. One cool thing, though, is we can actually use that web to kill Rax even more easily and more safely. Just, I need to level my range up. So, at a certain point, we're going to need to get to 83 and get training. But, yeah. We've now completed a Noxious Weapon on the Hard Cry, Iron Man. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. There we go. That is the last Rax kill of the day, just in under six minutes. What do you got for me, bro? Ooh, mid leg. Oh, today is a big day. Whoo! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, today is a very big day. I'm really happy. I'm actually so happy. Yes, dude. 
So we almost have two full spider legs, which is gonna make that Noxbow like basically decision free in terms of making it. I won't even have to think about it. Oh my God. Dude, I literally like zoned out for a second and the acid core was directly on top of me. Rex, can you actually, really, it's my own fault for zoning out. Ryan, drink more coffee. Holy crap, that was scary. I, I don't even know how many hits I tanked there, but probably a lot. That is a spider like bottom. When scuff turns into stuff, man, you'll love to see it. Okay, so we now have two complete rack spider legs. I literally almost died there, and it wasn't even like to like lag or web. I literally just like didn't move when the acid core was on me. But uh, your boy is in business. That's just how this works. That is level 90 in the range skill. This is our third time saying that because I am actually just terrible at apparently math. But uh, yeah, there we go. Took us an hour, sorry, took us three hours and 40 minutes from uh, three hours and 40 minutes from starting this morning. This is what our elite dungeon chest looks like. The actual value is like 12 or 13 mil because these relics, they add the high elk and the low elk value together for some strange reason. But yeah, that's absolutely incredible. So now we've got a bunch of money. We've got 90 ranged. I think it's time to make our Nox bow. Craft the spider leg. And then to Nox bowify it, we need level 90 crafting, which is orange spice. Create a noxious longbow, dude. We've gone and done it. The noxious longbow is absolutely huge because not only can we now take ranged to Araxor for significantly safer kills, which means I should be able to get to higher in rages, but this also means that we can begin to solo next. Our end goal on this account is Telos, and having a set of Virtus is going to be extremely helpful for that. Before I do that though, I think we should train our range up a little bit close to 99, and the best place to do that is going to be Kriara. Not for the XP rates, but because my range gear is currently a mix of Black and Royal Dragonhide, and I think it would be nice to potentially make some upgrades to that. First kill! Oh my goodness, that's an Arbital Helmet. Thank you very much. You absolutely love to see it. It happens. <gasps> yes, Arbital chest plate. Oh my god. We are starting the new year off right. What a start, dude. That's literally the best drop. Um, those are some Arbital Gloves coming in. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Another big drop coming in. Craft, Serenic Scale. Sirenic chaps. Boom. Okay, so actually I wanted to show this really quick. Check out the armor rating on these things. Armoral chest plate, 298. Sirenic chaps, 479. Before you go to Nex, I'm really quickly just gonna grab a corrupted defender. If you bring it to Nex, you have a chance of getting an ancient emblem. The ancient emblem is used to make the tier 80 defenders, and the ancient lantern in particular is gonna be exceptionally useful at Telos, so we may as well kill two birds with one stone, get that done before we go to Nex, and hopefully by the time we're ready to go to Telos, we will have ourselves an ancient lantern. Okay, we're not gonna be sub 10. Oh, just kidding, we are gonna be sub 10. That's a dragon defender. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, we're done. That took exactly 10 minutes to go from nothing to a dragon defender. I, I'm sure I just made a lot of people angry. I'm so sorry. Look, I didn't do it on purpose. Badoodle. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Like, it just, it just makes sense. It just, it just makes sense. See, that's what you want. You want next to get stuck like that, and then you have a really, really easy siphon. That first set was just kind of unlucky. Yeah, we're good now. I think we got it.
There we go, we phased it. That wasn't bad. I've only used like what, how much food? Four, five, six food. That's definitely easier than Rack skill. I don't know, every time I say next is easier than Rack, people go, no Ryan, you're wrong. I Unless there's like a bunch of death about to happen, man. Like that was not bad at all. And like I wasn't even cating anything either. It'll be like under five minutes. It's not horrible. Alright, what's the first drop gonna be? First Nexo on the hard crying man. Just under five minutes. Let's get it. Uh, 20 dragon stones. Sweet! We've gone and done it! Alright, let's go camp some next, dude. I'm having so much fun. Thank you. That is kill number 13. And that is my first Onyx Bolt drop. That's so much money, dude. That's great. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going with that. Zero complaints there. 3.7 mil for the auto elker. You'll love to see it. That is the end of the next hour. What do you got for me? Kill number like 14 or 15? Ah! Oh, I don't want to talk about it. I do not want to talk about it. I am not going to talk about it. I am not going to talk about it. I am not talking about it. You guys didn't see that? And let's go to Rex. That's almost a PR. And I'm going down mid path. <laughs> hmm. That's so sick. All right. You love to see it. Didn't touch my beast of burden. Thank you for- oh my god. I- I didn't even get to finish saying thank you for the leg piece, and we got a leg piece. <laughs> it's time to make a brand new Hydrix bracelet. Enchant that bad boy, and we now have a brand new situationally best in slot. Death Touch bracelet. You'll love to see it. Look at that thing. Oh my god! Somebody clip that, you stupid bird. Oh boy. Oh, that is, that'll, that's like two cups of coffee right there. That'll get you in the morning. All right, what do you got for me next? I'm actually kind of feeling a drop this go. I'm, I'm feeling it. Yeah, what do you got for me? Yes! Oh my God. That's the ancient emblem. That's literally the best drop I could have got for the boss. Thank you very much. Man, that's such a fire up. So we can make the tier 80 magic defender, which is, it's literally best in slot at Telos on a solo only account. It's best in slot for P4 and for P5. <laughs> nope, not doing it. I'm not doing it. All right, I killed the boss. That was a little scary. We got time for one more kill, so let's get it. That is a, another spider like middle. I know I have four of them. That's fine. I, uh, I'm going for the eye, so we're all in here. That really doesn't help me at all, but let's keep it going. There we go. That is the end of the Reaper assignment. And that is level 99 in the range skill. We finally have maximum hit chance and all that good stuff coming in. I actually love to see it. One, two, three, four, my fifth 99 on the account. Yeah, 99 number five. I actually love to see it. I'm really, really happy to have that. And we're actually gonna get the eye we needed too. Nah, just kidding. That's literally never gonna happen. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Get it? That's not a PR. That ties. <laughs> Perdix gloves. Um, as my first unique from next. Um, Death Touch Brace is better, right? I'm pretty sure Death Touch Brace is better. That's the other Reaper. 15 Reaper points, 20 KSR XP. You'll love to see it. And. <laughs> Mod Camel, you're insane. You're actually insane, dude. That's not an eye, but like, bro, what is this? Is he hacking? He's literally hacking. That's my fifth mid leg. Mod Camel showed up in my Twitch chat, was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna drop this kill. Like, and he's never been wrong up to this point. Like, he got me an orb on my main account. He's sick. This acid phase has been absolutely terrible. But I killed the boss. I don't know what the enrage is, but I have a feeling we're getting up there, man. Give me an eye. That's another leg piece. I have six of them now. Oh boy. This is, um, this is not going well at all. What am I going to do with six spider leg middles? All right, we keep going for the eye.
Got it! Woo! 300% in raid on the hardcore! Oh my god, if I don't get an eye for this, man. Nope. Pet chance it? Okay, I'll pet chance it. Nope. Literally nothing. Nothing, dude. Oh, you hate to see it. Goodbye. Alrighty. Decent kill, I would say. All things considered. What do you got for me? Oh, that's actually good. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm actually very happy with the bot leg. Um, so yeah, now I've got three bottom legs. Six mid legs, two top legs. Yeah, we're good. I mean, I still... The, the fact that I'm at 300 kill count and I don't have a hilt is semi-problematic, but yeah, that'll that'll actually come in handy at some point. I'll definitely use that eventually. Kind of two levels. Another ancient emblem. Okay. Um, Is that useful? I guess it is, yeah, because then I can make like a melee defender or something. Sweet. With tier 90s, we do need Reaper Necklace at Nex. Yes. Nex is one of the tankier bosses in the game. This is next solo number 100. And uh, still, nothing but Pernix gloves to my name. That's wild. It's okay, though. We're going to turn it around. Off stream, it's just me pretending to get drops and then going, Woo, I got a drop. Over and over again. That's actually all I do off stream. That's why I haven't been able to upload videos. Been working on my reactions for so long. Ready? Woo! I can make a third defender. All right. Next, what do you got for me? Oh my god. Uh, I don't even know if I have the clip of it saved. I don't even know if I have the clip of it saved. But I literally said, like, you know, after going 100 kills with nothing good from Nex, I said, watch us get a Zarite bow first. It is literally the most useless item that this boss drops. Not only is it worse than my Nox bow, but it's also worse than my Royal Crossbow. Could a sign of death for you from getting smashed? I would have to test it. I'm guessing no. All right, next, first skill of a whole new hour. Yeah, I just got the next pet. I'm on like a hundred kill count. I I don't know what's going on, man. That's my first boss pet on this account too. I've got like four thousand boss kill count too. That's my first pet on the account. Also, I just want to say, I don't really play this game for pets in any meaningful way. So I just want to apologize to anyone who's actually trying to get the next pet because like, I don't I don't really care particularly for it, and I know that a lot of people care immensely for it. So I just want to apologize. If you care a lot about the next pet, I wasn't trying. I didn't get it just to make you sad, okay? I promise that's not, that was not the objective. It just, sometimes it'd be like that, you know? A perfect, perfect opportunity to get bruised because I ate all my food. Do it, you won't. Oh, you actually won't. I'll take, do it. I really like this rotation, actually. It's my favorite rotation on my main, but my least favorite rotation on my hardcore. It's a little dangerous. That was a good kill. I will take it. All right, come on, Rax. Um, that's actually really useful. I am very good with the leg top. So what that means, let me think here. Um, what that means if you go to the bank here is I now have three full legs complete. So if I were to get a fang, I could now make it into a scythe. Um, so yeah, that's actually quite useful because I've got my bow and then I've got two other full legs. Um, at the same time, we really, yeah. If we don't get those hilts, it isn't particularly helpful. We're on 338 kill count right now. No Fang, no Eye. Fang would be cool. Eye is significantly more important. Please something Virtus soon. Yeah. I would love just any anything Virtus I can wear at Telos would be super cool. I believe in it though, it's gonna happen. All right, next, what do you got for me? That's really cool. I actually, that, that's worse than the masterwork that I can make and I can't get true masterwork because I'm a solo only account. So 
It's actually not useful at all to me on this account right now, but that's a sick drop to get. 83 mil? That's really cool. I, I not even, that's sick. I Tore of a plate body, dude. So now I can disassemble that Bando's chest plate. We got a tour of a plate body. When the acid core hit me, and that's it. Is four digging still thing? Yeah. Bro, can we not give me? Why? Why? I just, I. <laughs> just kidding. That's not what we're looking for. But it's all gonna be fine. Thanks to Lance. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's no way! <laughs> there's no way, dude! You'll love to see it! Um... Okay! Um... It's that easy, ladies and gentlemen. It is that easy. Ask and you shall receive. Tier 90, so they were camping a knock staff in tier 90... Tier 90 prayer. Oh my god! Help, 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 help! Didn't even sign. Calculated. Whoa, okay. Buddy. Right on the end like that. Core blimey, mate. Okay. Max? I'm literally gonna lose my hardcore if you don't give me a drop soon, so please. <laughs> Just please, man. I... We're, we're gonna be... We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it to Telos. <laughs> if we don't get a drop soon. So, I beg. Kill the boss. Oh, yes! Oh my god! Oh, that's literally the best drop! That's the best drop in the drop table! Oh, let's go! Oh, I'm so freaking happy! Oh my god, that's a Virtus Rope Top! That's so good! That's freaking fantastic, dude! Oh, Nex, you're the best! You're an absolute beauty! You're an absolute beauty, Nex! Check this out! Hold up! I have a Virtus rope top and Saren pants. That's literally perfect. That is literally the best drop I could have got. Ow. <laughs> what have I done, man? This is not what it's supposed to look like. Believe it or not, this is not optimal. Also, believe it or not, this has happened before. Kill the boss! Thank you. Okay. That was horrible. But you know what isn't horrible? Go, bro! God, I literally thought that was a... Oh, God. I literally thought that... Oh, I saw the... I saw the red. I saw the red, and I... I saw the red circular... That's literally rarer than an eye as well. Oh, Rex, you're absolutely trolling me, bro. You're literally trolling me, bro. I almost want a pet chance, and I'm that angry. But I'm not gonna because I need those dragon eyes for crafting. And now I'm just a sad Iron Man. Ah, oh, get in the bank. I'm so upset. When I had no business getting 13 minute kills. If I'd just been willing to change my strategies. But like, I would get one kill an hour and be like, well, that kill shows that the strategy is good. All right, next. What do you got for me? First kill of the day. Pernix Cowl. Oh no. Oh, it's a disaster. Dude, I just made the, I just made the Seretic Helmet. Oh, that's a tragedy. It's an absolute tragedy. Okay, well, at least when we break, when this thing breaks on me, which is probably never, um, we'll have a replacement hat, I guess. Thank you very much for the Pernix Capuchon. What the hell, dude? That is an absolutely wild first duplicate to get. We now have... Two Virtus Rope Tops on the, on the Hardcore Iron Man. Oh, Sal's gonna kill me. Oh no. Oh, that's so funny. What do I do with two of them? That is a fourth Dragon Rider Lance coming in. We absolutely take those. Loot from the Reaper assignment. Also, my melee gear looks so bad. At some point, we're gonna have to do something about that. I feel like a bot, but I'm a bot with four Dragon Rider Lances. So let's freaking go. Okay, that's enough enrage for the day. Wow, we almost planked. We literally almost rolled up to Plankation Station right there. 
Bro, can you please give me an eye? I'm so angry. Okay, I'm not actually angry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling. Bro, we're getting to the point, man. Rax, we are getting to the point. Yeah, for fashionscape, exactly. Kind of. Search. Nope. Bro, how are you gonna not notice it right next to you? Okay. You're actually trolling me. There's There's no way. Uh I I just got the uh I just got the hunter pet from Trying to do one easy clue scroll. Goodbye. Wow, good kill time there. 409. I will take it. What do you got for me? Oh my god! 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 What a grind! All right, so I'm not gonna lose my hardcore at Rax. We literally almost lost our hardcore like 27 freaking times here. We are not gonna lose the hardcore at Rax. Oh, I'm so relieved. I honestly, I was getting to the part where it's like, I don't know if I'm going to make it to 600 kills. And uh, we don't have to make it to 600 kills. Oh my God. I'm so happy right now. That's so many kills for an eye, dude. I'm so happy. Like, I, here's the thing. If I don't want to, we don't need to go back to this boss ever. We do not need to go back. 419 kill count. Um, we might go back for biting, but even then, I've got a Nox bow I could use for biting. Like, we're, we're safe. We're actually safe now. So, oh, that's such a relief. We, we now have a Nox staff, and we can start on Hellwer. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that is such a grind. That, like, just think of all the times I sniped myself for, like, an 8k. Like, we're not playing with enhancers here. We're, like, in the permadeath stage. Just to be done with this boss means, yeah, we've safely made it past what I would say is the second most dangerous part of this entire challenge. That's absolutely unreal. But yeah, I am fortunate enough to be a full-time streamer, which is still... No way! I just called Virtus Roblox. Oh my god! So now I can disassemble my Saren ones and I've got planted feet. Okay, okay, that's a big drop. That is a big freaking drop. I've got planted feet. Oh my goodness. That's so, we're actually like, we're getting very close to Telos. Cause look, I've got my Saren pants. They're level eight, so I gotta get them to level nine. One more level, disassemble them, planted feet, done. At this stage on the account, we're absolutely cruising. We finally got an Araxi's eye and a Noxious staff, and a lot of our Telos gear is complete. Things are looking really promising, but it all came crashing down. Literally. This is a Black Dragon Slayer assignment. I'm training Slayer to get Blast Diffusion Boots from Vile Blooms, and I've already killed over 2,500 of them on task with nothing to show for it. After over a month of power slaying and force skipping every long task to maximize my Vile Blooms per day, I was handed a Black Dragon task, and I made the decision to complete the task at the Queen Black Dragon for a break. This ended up being a terrible mistake. There's no clip of the death because when you're streaming and your entire city suffers a power outage, unfortunately, that also takes out your stream. I logged into the mobile app on data to find out that I'd lost all but three of my items, including my Slayer helmet. And most importantly, I lost my final extra life. Welcome to the permadeath stage. If we die to anything at all, my fault or not, it's over for fast drag. Despite the setback, the plan doesn't change. Let's rebuild, get our Slayer helmet back, and keep pushing for the gear we're gonna need in order to take on Telos. Okay, I lost Bando's boots, I lost Guthin's pants, Torva gloves, I lost my Slayer helmet, I lost my Kiln cape, I lost my Asylum Surgeon's ring, I lost my Ring of Fortune, I lost my Mobile Switch, and I lost my Elder Rune. I think all things considered, that's not that bad. Like, it, it definitely could have been worse. 
I think we go do a kiln. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just get it back, because otherwise it's going to be like weeks before I get the thing back. Let's just get her done. I've never been offered two different capes. Catch the melee one. Right? Yeah, because Medj is the mage one. I think that's the melee one. Oh, we're good. Oh, that that would have been that would have been the absolute worst. That would have been the double kiln rebuild. Whoo, we're safe. All right, kiln cape has been reacquired after uh, an absolute blunder and a half. Was excited to see your hardcore death in the video. Woo! Focus sight, get in! Oh, I'm so happy right now. Okay. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god! Oh, we're good! Oh, we're good! <laughs> oh my god! Woo! Okay, life is still incredibly hard, but... Oh, that makes it so much better. Here we go! Slayer Helmet... Full Slayer Helmet has been retrieved. We're back. Except for, you know, the Torva Gloves and the Ring of Fortune and the Elder Rune. We're not thinking about those things. We are back. We are good to go. It is time to go back to the Queen Black Dragon. Wait a second. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Um, that is a Crest of Saren drop. Okay, what am I going to do with that? Let me think. So I don't have any dormants, but I guess if I get a dormant helm, that's my new, like, best in slot helmet. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to go back to next just to get a Virtus mask. So that's actually very useful. Cool. Oh my god, we just went back to back. Yo, your boy just went back to back. Oh, there's no way. Oh, your boy just went back to back. What? Bro, I, I literally, I didn't even say, does your boy go back to back? And your boy just went back to back. We now have a four ticking setup. Get me the heck out of here. Never again. Get out of my house. I teleport without picking it up. No, I'm kidding. Um, wow. That's, that's absolutely wild. Bro, we actually just went back to back at Hellwer. Okay, well... That changes the plan slightly, because I can now make a four-taking setup. Huh. Well, that's pretty sick. Why don't we, uh, why don't we get four-taking, um, before we finish our Reaper? Oh, what is that? Wait, rare resource? Um, Dinosaur Tooth, what is that? That's one of the good ones, isn't it? Is that the Slayer Lodge? Yes, dude! Okay, so now I need to get 90 construction. So, it's kind of a make-work project, but, um, that's unreal. So, that means I can then put my Slayer Helm, um, there and then wear any helm and I'll get the stats for both. That's extremely good. Yeah, now, if I die to QBD, or, you know, anything else, but at this rate, it's looking likely that it's QBD. I, uh, I'm good. I don't need to worry about it. Also, I'm not getting a level. I'm... I'm not even going to debate myself. We're fine. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're good. It's fine. It's... We did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, thank you. Whoo. Okay. I am 3K from 91 hunt. Let's finish 91. Let's, you know, we'll call it a victory lap. See if your boy goes back to back. But that is a dragon matic done. It took about... 170 hunts? Which, I won't lie. That's a lot of skill in for me. Going 80, um, 85 to 91. It's about to happen. Yeah, this could be 99 magic. And... See ya, bro. Tell me. No, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. Bro, how close am I? I'm 38 XP away. Thanks for ruining my big moment been excited for what is this at the start of the next skill how does that work bro that's not an magic done you hate to see it i'll take it oh it's the vuln oh that's true the vuln with the 76 xp drop getting it done which probably doesn't take that long but it does depend on one thing which is that there's a chance i just lose my hardcore doing this task. And then if that happens, obviously. 
that will slightly eat a bit of uh, eat a bit of progress. Oh hell no, bro! Ha! What was that? Oh my god! Whoa! What the? What the bro, 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 I'm at the peak! I'm at the peak! I'm at the peak, bro! Yo, what is that, dude? Okay. What? <laughs> I was at the bank. <laughs> Get the helmet we wanted, but I am completely fine with that. 99 in the Slayer skill. We get the cape, we can do the Sunken Pyramid, which is unreal. Cape is a great teleport, and then we need to keep working because we didn't get any of the items we needed. But, you know, I will take it. I will take a big 99. Yeah, it's time for 99 herbage. We're not really celebrating 99 Herbore, we're mostly just celebrating me being me being done with training Herbore today so I can go and finally die to Rax like we've been wanting to do for a long time. Here we go! In three! In two! In one! That is level 99 Herbore! Can you sell me a skill cape? I've got the money right here! And just like that, We've achieved skill mastery, except we haven't because it's a 120 skill now. We're out of here. Wish I had Ghetto Boots. They'd be so good for that part of the fight, but either way. Goodbye, Rex. See you later, bro. Um, collectors were drawn? What's it gonna be? Um, okay. I can't actually do anything with that, but you know, we're chilling. We are, we are chilling with that. That's okay. That was so sick. That release at the end was unreal, dude. Okay. Yeah, let's do more of that. <laughs> I don't need that at all, but I'll take it again. I, I literally cannot do anything with that. Li like liter literally nothing. But I feel it, dude. I feel it. Something nice, I hope. Um, oh my god! Yo, that's actually something nice. Yeah, we'll take it. We, uh, we like those here at the RS Guy Productions. Thank you for the Elder Wand number two. What do I do with a second Elder Wand, though? That is Double Surge Unlocked. If you're wondering how we got it, sub-level 85 agility. I use stamina potions to boost my agility every lap, just for that one section where you need to be level 85, and it worked out really well. So anyway, Double Surge is done. We don't need Double Escape at any point. It's not going to be needed for Telos, so we're probably done with agility on the account unless I decide to go for max in like 70 years. Here we go. In three. In two. In one. And that is level 99 in the invention skill. How many 99s is that on the account now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's my ninth 99. It's not too bad at all. Material noxious components. Oh, that is actually quite helpful. Rumbling, and I've already discovered all these though because I potted up to 116 last night, but I will take it. That is a big level 99. All right, I'll... I'll take it. At least we can say we got a pet before we died on the hardcore. I mean, what? Uh, my aura is Gonzo Alonzo. So, uh, yeah, let's get this last skill done. And then we'll click on our new pet, I guess. We have a lot of skilling pets on this account. Or top path in a duo actually would work too. Wait, I didn't even use an ability. Bro, somebody clipped that. Dude, that just popped my enhancer. I literally didn't attack. What? What was that? I literally didn't attack. Like, I didn't snapshot. Huh? What the? What was... Bro. Okay. That is the end of the Reaper assignment. 25 Reaper points. Totaling 269 now. And that is actually really good. That's super helpful. Spider leg top coming in. We we really need those hilts though. The hilts are such a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. Yikes. That could've been bad. Oh, look at Cash and I. We're absolutely eating. 
Holy moly. Actually love to see it. I can't do anything with that leg piece, unfortunately, but you are going to the bank, my boy. Oh, that was a great kill. Holy guacamole. We absolutely toasted him. What are you going to do about it, bro? Yes. Woo! That's not a thing, but I don't care. That is biting for done on the hardcore. I will take... Wait, I just got an eye while me... I'm... I'll take... God, I... I'll take... I don't care. You know what? I don't care. It's it's a, it's a hilt. I need hilts. I need hilts. I can now disassemble my knock staff. This Araxi has been just awful. Start to finish, but that's okay. We didn't die. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're getting so many leg pieces, and I cannot do anything with them. Wow. Boss has a lot of life points left, though. It's unfortunate. Yeah, Elders, I mean, here's a good way to think about Elders. Wait a second! Wait, I didn't want to ring a life there. It was fine. <sighs> Wait, what is that? Oh my god! Bro, I've had three ones in like seven kill count. All right. I don't know what I'm doing with you, but all right. I'll t I just want a dormant helmet, please. I just want a dormant helmet. Well, goodbye, Vindy. See you later, bro. Oh my god, that's the first kill. This boss is too good to me. Literally on the first kill, dude. I mean, it's no dormant Animacore helmet, but I mean... Hammers are currently going for 240 mil. Ooh, Dragon Rider... Wait, I don't, I don't need one. I don't need one of those. Dragon Rider Lance number six on the account. All right, well, Aftershock seven at some point. Aftershock seven incoming. Yeah, this account has ridiculously good pet luck. And I am someone that doesn't really care for pets, as I've said before. So I don't know what exactly to do with it. But that is Archie the Archaeology Pet. I'm currently level 65, working my way up towards level 95 for Ancient Invention, because that's going to be needed for Telos. Wait, who just said... S someone in my chat literally just said, Ryan, you're about to get an ancient... It was Smitty! Smitty literally just said, Ryan's going to get an ancient elven ritual shard. Oh, boy. All right, I'll take it. 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 Think about how that could have. Think about how that could have gone. Think about what that could have been, chat. Okay, this isn't a great idea, but I think it's the best idea available. I need two rumbling components in order to make myself an essence of finality, and dragors and perfect titans give rumbling components. So we're going to be soloing KK. I don't know a ton about solo KK. I'm going to mess up a lot. The one thing I do know, though, is if you do get greened, if you spam freedom and teleport, you can teleport out. So just knowing that, I'm hoping that'll be enough to learn how to do this, and hopefully we can get some dragors or perfect titans for rumbling components. Um, so I'm gonna sign here if I don't, uh, if I don't skip the screen correctly. Because I used freedom there and I shouldn't have. One, oh boy. Green shield! So there's my stun. One. Two. Stun. Now. Got it. Go, Ryan! Stop green shielding! Yo, bro, you're actually tr I've had eight green shields in a row! Let me just solo the Kill Fight King, please. Let's go. First KK solo on the hardcore. Get in. I'll take Stone Spirits. Ah! What the hell? Oh my god. I just got blasted. Oh my heart. My heart! How low did that take me? What? Oh my god. That right there? That right there is why we bring the Ring of Life. Oh my god. Oh, we're fine. Hey, I didn't even sign. I didn't sign. I didn't even sign. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I didn't, didn't even sign. Yeah, so you'll just bring your blade to dive. Yeah, so... Oh god. What? Let's get it. And another kill down. 
Cal fight gang, that was a rude one. Perfect Kitan, okay. Um, that's rarer than a Drygore. Um, okay. Let me think. Um, that's not bad. That's one rumbling component. So if I get a second one, that will actually work. 16k, yeah, range raise is a good DPS phase. And goodbye, Galvite King. What do you got for me, bro? Yes! Oh, we're good. Perfect kite number two. Get in. Um, so that actually means we don't have a Drygor, but we have two rumbling components. That is an amulet. Yep. Whoo, that's good. That's really, really good. Ball of Will. Hydrix Amulet. Enchant. Amulet of Souls. Use the Amulet of Souls on that. And done. Essence of Finality has been unlocked on our Grandman. Woo! That was not stressful at all. No, no, no. That was, that was easy breezy, man. Nothing to worry about. It's not that bad, but it's definitely not. Oh my god! This game sucks. I knew I shouldn't have forgot my shard. Hey, Jagex, thank you so much for the Elven Ritual shard. I I did this to myself. I literally, this is completely my fault too because I forgot my shard. I was like, great, Jagex, I know what they're going to do. They're going to give me another one. Because that fits in nice. No, it's an absolute pop-off. If you guys don't know what it is, it's... Yes! Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! I still don't have Blast Fusion Boots. That's ridiculously rare for ink. Highest drop is 1 in 68k. Yep. No, that's one where you sit there for a very, very long time. Oh my god. I now have two pairs of cinnamon. We have made... Wait, hold up. 56 mil? What? We have made... Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'll, I'll count the three shards as well. In 600 kills, so six tasks of vine crawlers, we have made 110, 120, 130, 140, 150 mil. Bro, bro, that is just disgusting. That is level 68 archaeology, an absolutely massive, massive level to get done. Ancient summoning, binding contract, and the abyssal gate search that I needed to start training rune crafting as well. Um, super, super important. We need to make sure that we unlock that right now as well, if we can, as well as doing the Dagon Buy Mystery um, ASAP to get ourselves some Ancient Summoning Binding Contracts. Let's get it, team. It's time for level 99 Summoning and level 138 Combat as well. That is an absolutely huge milestone. Let's go get ourselves our first Steel Titan. Crack that bad boy open. Living farm done. Ooh, that's a pop-up as well. That's cool. And then, yeah, so the Livid Plate and the Merchant right now will get us the ability to set Borrowed Power. I don't actually know what I'm going to set it to right this second, but we'll have to do... Um, I've got Vuln Bomb, so maybe we actually set it to Entangle. I'm not sure. Ooh, that is level 107 Slayer coming in. I actually wasn't completely planning on getting that level at any point, but... Sure, two more levels so we can boost to the Magister. And it's still no Blast Diffusion Boots in sight. I don't. Oh, we're in a prayer. Alchemical Onyx Necklace. I make a second look at the dwarves. No, thank you. And just like that, we have ourselves a brand new Grace of the Elves. Yay! And now I sleep. And that is 100 magical threads. I think, right? Should be. Fuse magic. And yeah, it is. We got it done. That is a rune pouch on the hard crying man. Our Telos gear is looking absolutely crazy at this point. We've got an essence of finality. We got full Virtus. I've got Cinderbane gloves that should be in there too. And it's looking really, really good so far. Okay, that was a good P4, but every other phase was terrible. I think I'm okay though. I'll continue. Fang? I actually. <laughs> That's two eyes while magic in a row. Oh my god, I I may never get a fang. That's two eyes while ma- That's actually hard to do. 
That's on our, like, that's genuinely difficult to do. <sighs> you actually hate to see it. Okay, I'm so tired of going for Blast Diffusion boots. It's been literally three months and I still don't have them. I've got over 4,500 Vile Bloom kill count. So I decided to take a bit of a break and just for the fun of it, see if I could go and get myself the Lumbridge Strikes Back achievement on the Hard Cry Iron Man. It involves doing an Araxo kill in full bronze with a bronze main hand weapon. And I don't think there are too many hardcores that have it done. So why don't we get her done really quick and then go back to training Slayer for the next, hopefully not three months. And there we go, that is Lumbridge Strikes Back complete, and we had lots of food to spare. Now that that's out of the way, let's go back to not unnecessarily risking our account, and let's keep working on the important things that we have to do to get ourselves to Telos. Oh my god! Oh my god! Calculated? I'm just using a relic? Um, that's the invention pet. I mean, I'm not a super, super low level, but still, the invention pet's one of the more rare ones, so I feel like that's quite lucky to get. And it's another useless pet. I didn't record any of this because skilling is boring, but that is level 95 archaeology coming in, and I have now finally unlocked Ancient Invention. It took me a good little while to do it just because I was doing it all kind of on my own time. I didn't want to make content out of training archaeology, but we've finally gone and done it. This will also allow me to boost to level 97 for Fury of the Small, which is one of the relics that you want to use when you're PVMing, which means I don't need to train archaeology at all from this point forward on this account. We are completely and utterly good to go. I'm going to spare you guys most of the perking because it's pretty boring, but we now have access to Ancient Invention, and I'm going to upgrade all of my standard perks over to the top tier best possible Ancient ones. I don't know. I had a rough, like, six months, and it's really cool seeing kind of, I don't know, that rough kind of six-month situation kind of coming to an end, I guess? Oh my god! Oh, thank good... No oh my god, I've been here for six months? I've been here for six mother heckin' months, dude! Oh my god! This moment is two years in the making, and we're finally ready to go to Telos. The safest enrage route for us to complete the dormant title is going to be to do streaks from 0% all the way to 500. Above 500%, the risk of death increases exponentially, and at 500% and below, it's almost zero. So that's going to be the plan. I'm using a Nihil over a Ripper Demon because a hit chance is the only situation that can kill me. If I splash some critical stuns, I can end up in a bad place. The odds of splashing multiple stuns in a row with a Nihil in my current setup is so low that it's unlikely to happen a single time throughout the entirety of the dormant title. I've put in the hours, and I'm absolutely confident that it's finally time to get this done. We're going to start our first zero streak, and we're going to take it all the way up to 500% in Rage and the Warden title. If we can get that done safely, we can foreseeably complete this entire challenge. It's also likely that we're going to be getting our first Telos drops right here. It's finally time to make some real progress towards the Dormant title. Also, I guys know the thing that's going to kill me here is a client crash. Too? Bro, that's my highest in rage. Like, look at that invent. That is actually a full invent minus the weapon poison. Okay, we're doing well today, team. We're doing well today. That's actually really sick. Six million coins, and that's my hundredth kill at Telos as well. Pog? What? Let's go. Let's freaking go, chat. That is a dormant staff of Slinky.
Oh, Jesus. I thought it was a reprisal. All right, well, on to the next one. Pog? 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 Pog! Let's go, dude! Let's go. Let's! 500. 494. Two more kills, chat. Two more kills. Two more kills. Two more kills. Let's go. That's a really cool Telos chest. This is a piece of cake, chat. Yeah, we're not losing this. Cool, we're done. Yeah, we're actually done. Yeah, this can be wooden done on the hard court. Hit the surge. Switch beams. Hold the asphyx. G staff. And that's it. GG. Whew, that was really stressful. But uh, I'm glad the last kill wasn't rough. Like, I wasn't panicking any more than a regular kill. That's really important. That's super important. That right there is a hardcore Iron Man Telos chest. Really good first three. Yeah, we're going to have to do this probably eight or nine times if we want dormant title. Something like that. Expect the drop set of streak like this is like 0.7. So yeah, with really good luck, it'll take like 10 of these. That's a lot of hype for Green Warden, I've got to say. But uh, getting on the hardcore, it was a long grind. Like the 5k Bio Bloom kills and getting Cinder Banes and getting the full Virtus and the UF, of course, the Knock Staff. It was a lot. There were a lot of things that could have killed me there. All right, chat. Is it time to claim? I think it's time to claim. Oh, 104 mil. I didn't even look at the loot. Hold up. Look at all the divine, the divine charges. Oh, my goodness. That's OP. Next bowl tips, the bruise, the super bruise. The sauce and the orb in three, in two, in one. Get in. Give it to me. Big double chest. That's really exciting. I'm glad we did that. Or a leg thing. Anyway, that's a new maximum age. Let's grab a luck ring and check a loot. We are gonna claim this chest here though. Okay. Well, that's another streak done without a unique, unfortunately, but we are gonna call it there. We're gonna continue doing zero to 500s. I think that's the enrage that I'm safest at. I don't think there's any point pushing it above that. We'll take the bandos book out tomorrow. We'll go zero to 300 and then scrim the 400 to 500. Um, beyond that, it's too dangerous. 77 mil though, I'm happy with. Um, drop wise, the rock tails are nice. The wines are nice. Maybe we can start doing super brews actually. Maybe we can. Um, yeah, let me claim this thing. Lots of energy too. Drinking the night. That is not an orb, but we've got 43 mil made. Oh! Mm -mm. Okay. Um, don't worry, we've prepared for this. I do believe that this is a red orb, but it's also possible that it could be a number of other items. I feel like I deserve a red orb though. So we're just gonna say that it's probably a red orb. Uh, I'm not gonna look at it, I'm gonna let chat. I'm going to let chat um, perform the determination. So I'm going to stop spinning it in three, in two, in one. Where are we dropping, boy? What do we think? I'm looking for tech W's. I'm looking for pause champ. Oh, I see tech W. Okay, that's not an orb. That's not even close. Great. <gasps> that's a dormant or a reprisal. Frick. Uh, neither one of those is great, but that's a dormant or a... Frick! Wait. 
Yeah, that's that's definitely a dormant or a reprisal. The dormant, it's not a duplicate though, so it's a drop for dormant title. I mean, reprisal, I could, could I even, I wouldn't really use it. Um, I feel like it's probably a reprisal. All right, chat. In three. In two. In one. Oh, it is a ZGS. Okay. That's really interesting, actually. Um, I think I still make the Staff of Slinky first. Definitely make the Staff of Slinky first. But that is an interesting drop. That is a very interesting drop. Of course, we're going to continue the streak here. Um, that's a really rare drop that we need for Dormant Title. So I'm happy to get that. That's really, really good for Log. Doesn't really help the Hardcore a ton right now. But I'm happy to get that as a drop. What do we got? What's in the chest, actually? Here, let's take a quick look here. A little deep dive. 800 Toad Flaxes. How many Crush Nests? No Crush Nests. Nests. Um, 196 Super Brews I can make there. That's really good. Good amount of ends. Good amount of Rock Tails. It's just good drops, good supplies. And of course, the dormant Zaro's Death Sword. I'll take it. It's a cool drop to get. So we got two dormants, one orb. That's actually a really good setup. Um, Because we're getting some of the rarer drops out of the way quicker. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Yeah, it's a cool little tab there. Three Telos drops, three drops for the Dorma title. So tomorrow, we're going to do this again. Um, and I can't get a Stadius Warhammer. And I can't get a tier 9 in prayer just because I'm so lonely. Oh my goodness. What happened? <gasps> Fu no! Can I say, it's so frustrating being a RuneScape 3 content creator. Like, servers have been bad for over a year. Client crashes, they don't talk about. The last client crash issue, they tweeted about it because I got on the phone and yelled at a JMod and said, if this happened on old school, they would communicate. And, like, two years onto this account. Um, and it's gone. 100% gone. Um... Yeah, hundred percent. There's gonna be a broadcast. Um, like it's literal incompetence, and it's really, really frustrating. Like it's so frustrating. Like on old school, if people are reporting client crashes all day or whatever else, or there's a memory leak or whatever else, like they send out a tweet. Here it's just like, well, good luck, have fun. Um. Anyway, we made a lot of good content. This was a really good two years on the hardcore. Um, but that's a really sad, stupid way to go down. It really is. It's a really Thank frustrating you. way to go down. It's really kind of you. Thank you very much. Like, it's a really frustrating way to go down oh God, because... I'm not, I'm not like... It's unpreventable unless I want to just not play the game on a day that ends with Y. Because that's a day that I could have a client crash. Can you get it back? No, we're done. That's it. Um, there's absolutely no getting this account back. They have to refund this? No, they, they can't. And, and here's why they can't. First off, I don't want streamer privilege. That's stupid. Second thing is people lose hardcore just client crashes all the time. And incompetence all the time. And bugs are bad communication or anything and um yeah it's fine that's like i figured i figured when i lost my second life to a power outage that the third was gonna be a client crash i was hoping i could get closer to the dormant title but at the end of the day i got to telos i got halfway there i got three uniques like that's still pretty freaking cool we knew this was a possibility um I, I, I wish this wasn't the way to go down. Like, I said it yesterday, too, and I said it two days ago. Like, I wanted to go down to my own mistake. 
I wanted to lose my account because I did something, not, I don't know, because my city's power grid was bad or because um, they can't make a stable client or fix the servers. Um, but it is what it is. You know, we go again. Uh, yeah, that's not the best feeling in the world. But it happens. You know? These things do happen. It's it's not how I wanted it to end, but I still feel like it was a, a it was a good account. You know? It was a good account. We got far with it. No, no, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. We made a lot of good progress. Like I think it was my first time questing a new account, skilling a new account. That's my first Iron Man too. So no, it was a really good experience. Like I truly enjoyed it. It was it was good. It was worth. It was enjoyable. It just it sucks to lose something that I put two years into in in this way. But you know, it was a good run. I'm not like angry, obviously. Like I'm not a a ragey kind of person. I'm more just like, I'm I'm disappointed because I was really looking forward to progressing this account. Um, but hey. I'm to the sub. Um, hopefully this maybe gets them to look at the servers. I don't think it will, because when I took a roll with Jagex, that was the high, number one prioritized thing to look at, and it hasn't been looked at. But, uh, yeah. I truly do appreciate you guys being along for the journey. Like, it was a really good account. It was a really fun account. Um, had a lot of really good, fun memories on here. Getting our Lance at, like, 17 kill accounts, and I don't know. That's the only one I can think of right now. Dying to QBD. All the memes there, all the songs, all the, you know, that was really exciting, really enjoyable. Um, going like 600 dry at Vindy and just losing my mind trying to get a dormant animal core body and all that. You know, we had some good stuff. It was fun. It was enjoyable. Uh, this is not the Steam client. No, it's the standard one. Um, we had a really, really good run. And like, I'm, I'm honestly really proud of this account. I'm truly proud of it. I think we played it. I played it my way till the end as well. Like I wasn't playing efficient. I wasn't doing dailies. I wasn't doing any of the stuff that you're supposed to have to do on an Ironman. Um, I think I really like, I made it mine. I did it my way. I did that all the way to the end. And that's really cool. Um, that's not a bad thing. Am I going to remake the account? Um, it took me so long to get here. I will have to think about that. I, I don't think I want to think about that right this second. I think probably not because if the same stuff keeps happening, there's just no point. Like I've already thrown two years into an account that is gone from something outside of my control. I would rather not throw another two years into another account. I know it's like content or whatever, but um, I think I'm likely going to try and do something with the iron. And if it's fun and if it hits and you guys enjoy it and you guys, you know, want to watch me do that, then I'll do that. If you guys aren't feeling it, then I would make a new hardcore. And now there are some cool things we can do as an Iron Man now. Like I can keep it a solo only Iron Man. I can go for 4K. I can solo Beastmaster like... There are a lot of cool things. I can solo Solak and try to get Blight Bounds. Like, there's some cool stuff I can do with the account. It's just, it's not plan A or plan B or plan C. Gone exactly how we figured it was going to go. Because, like, I don't know. I knew I wasn't going to lose it to Telos. I knew I wasn't going to make a mistake at 500 in Rage. Like, that was that was the safe thing. It was just once it get hit. But realistically, the fact that I did 700 Rax kills without a single client crash, like, that was lucky. We got lucky at Rax to do that many kills. Because that's another boss where Ring of Life doesn't work. Um, so, you know, it happens. It came around. But yeah, I don't know. I do think it's really frustrating. Not even to, I said to be a RuneScape 3 content creator because for me, like, what do I do if the clients are bad? Like they always are. Do I just not, do I just not stream? Because that's frustrating, but it's also frustrating as a player. Like if you're just a regular hardcore, how are you supposed to do? I'm to the sub. Um, but anyway, I really do appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys being here for the journey. Like, you know? I think everybody knows I would have completed the goal if I'd been able to, you know, continue and not have a client crash. So there's kind of no point. I just think it's F in the chat time. You know, I just feel like, I feel like it's, it's the moment. This is, this is time. But yeah, I mean, it's frustrating. It's a stupid way to go down. It's an annoying way to go down. But hey, until the very end, I'm proud of what we did on the account. It was my first iron. We got far. 
I wanted to provide a little more context to this situation because the first thing that I say when I lose my hardcore is that I just finished talking to a JMod about the client crashes and how they did a terrible job communicating them. Effectively, here's how that conversation went. I called up my former boss at Jagex because I used to work for the company for about six weeks. That makes it sound like I was fired or something. I wasn't. They, they brought me in as a contractor. I did what they asked me to do. And then I went back to being a content creator because that's what I wanted to do. But I called them up and I basically said, had it been on old school and there was a serious issue like this, they would care enough about their player base and people losing valuable items or time or resources that they'd send out a tweet saying, avoid dangerous activities. They do it fairly frequently whenever there's an issue. Um, on RuneScape 3, what happened is this was a Monday. Uh, it was Monday in February, the second Monday of February. They released something on the second Monday of February where anybody who had an NVIDIA card had a really good chance of having client crashes. They were reported for days and days and days, and there was no communication about it, but it was exceptionally abundant. So I spoke to this JMod and I said, look, this is insane that you have not talked about this. People put thousands of hours into their accounts and they lose them because you guys know there's an issue and you're not willing to communicate it to your player base. The day after I talked to this JMod and I, and I had that kind of confrontation, I see this tweet here and it says, we're aware of some client crashes occurring. Our teams have a fix in the works. We're hoping to deploy it by the end of the week. We'll keep you updated with any news as we get it. Thank you for the patience. So anyway, that's really good. I wrote him back and I said, thank you so much. This is literally exactly what we're looking for. I mean, it's been three, four days. A lot of people have lost accounts and progress and things like that, but this is a really good precedent to set. Fast forward to one day later. One day later, they tweet out, a new NXT client update has now been released to address the intermittent client crash issues introduced with this week's game update. This will be applied next time you launch your client Thank you for your patience. Um, so that's February 12th. That's a Friday. And that's amazing. I'm really happy. I'm like, thank you guys for doing this. It's a really good way to do it. I knew they'd already been working on a fix to the client crashes, but the fact that they hadn't talked about them really irked me because people were losing progress. So anyway, I said, great. This is amazing. Thank you so much. And I was super, super happy about it. Fast forward to the very next Monday, February 15th. That week's game update did the exact same thing. And they knew about it. It was the exact same issue with the clients and NVIDIA cards. Uh, that was causing intermittent crashes. So the same thing happens. People start reporting that they're having a lot of crashes, but no tweet about it, no comment on it, no message in game, nothing. And the reason this irks me is the last available information was that the client crash issue was fixed. And that was the information that I was operating under when I decided to play the game. I lost my hardcore that very Wednesday. It truly felt like they sent out these tweets, not because they cared about the player base, but to make me happy because I came at it with a pretty strong take that if this had been old school, they would have done it and this should be done. This should be the standard. And this is worse than not doing anything at all because not only did they not communicate there was an issue, they communicated that it was fixed. They broke it again, did not communicate that. And then there goes my hardcore and so many other people that lost theirs as well. So anyway, if I seem frustrated in this moment or I seem in disbelief, that's why I was in disbelief. I literally could not believe the timing of what had happened. And that's why I use the word incompetent as well um, a couple of times, which I know is a strong word, but in this instance, I think it's absolutely merited and I think it's completely deserved. Outside of that, I most importantly just wanted to say thank you all so much for all of your support on this series and on my channel and my content in general. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. And I'm really excited for the next series. The first three episodes are already completely done and I'm confident that it's the best content I've ever posted on this channel and I don't even think it's close. I'm really sorry that we couldn't finish the goal. I really wanted to, I did everything I can. We planned for every possible thing that we could have planned for. And unfortunately, sometimes the storybook ending doesn't quite happen, but I still feel really good about it. We made it to our max and rage and there's no doubt in my mind without that client crash, we would have been able to complete the dormant title. And I'm still very proud of where we made it on the account because when I first made it, a lot of people didn't think I'd even make it to a thousand total and we made it all the way to the end game. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in a couple days for the next one.